and hello again welcome back thank you for coming back uh, to, to see us um, yep still in the UK but mm -hmm. as we said last week this is going to be the second video that we'd recorded for our patrons uh, just to give you an idea of what we've been doing whilst we're in the UK what's been taking up our time mm. what's been taking up our headspace yeah and uh, hope you enjoy the catch-up yeah hello hello <laughs> happy Easter mm -hmm. happy Easter everyone <laughs> yeah um, it's <clears throat> Easter Saturday mm. here for us mm. um, and we're just trying to keep busy um, it's quite a nice day isn't yeah. it weather wise yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't had many of those. No. Um, and we've got a few clips of days out that we've had, mainly on the coast. Um, yep. And that will show you how unusual the northeast weather is for for winter. It's a long old winter. <clears throat> well, I think the second day that you filmed, the weather was quite nice, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday it was okay. quite nice. So I think we when you filmed yesterday. the first day, it was a bit misty very misty and yeah. wet and yeah. cold yeah it was but yeah. still very bracing very lovely It's not raining so we've come out just for an hour brought Max to the beach and this is pretty much what the weather has been like since we got here in the middle of January just grey slightly misty and cold and uh, just trying to make the most of it these guys for quite a while I think there's two or three and they're just using the air currents and the breeze and they're just going backwards and forwards along the, the beach really cool a little seat with a, a chute and just using the air currents. Oh, I have to keep an eye behind me though, because the tide's coming in. <laughs> Got to keep an eye on Max as well. <laughs> He's found a friend. Okay, okay. One of the things that Sea and Beach is quite famous for is the collection of sea glass. So it's obviously we have a very industrial heritage on the northeast of England coast and um, there was a lot of coal mining and a lot of glass works and lots of the old rubbish, the broken bottles and everything, it used to just get tipped into the sea where the sea has done years and years of work on the little bits of broken glass and has made it smooth and people actually come here and collect the sea glass to make art or jewellery and some of them even just bag it up into small bags and sell it on like Etsy, something like that. So I'll show you my little collection after just looking for a minute. So once you've got your eye in, it's quite easy to see. Um, there's clear glass which is looking white and green 
Uh, there's a little bit of blue there and I think the rarest is like the red um, so there's Darren just adding more to it so often what you see when you come to this beach especially on a day like today you just see people with their bums in the air because they're bent over looking for sea glass Darren just wasn't watching clear close enough and he's just got soaked oh back in the car now a little bit warmer it wasn't too cold though was no, it no it was, it was freezing <laughs> but not too cold not too, yeah. it was all right um yeah very noisy though just that the sea the waves yeah, yeah the we're big waves. loud yeah. yeah so brought some sandwiches with us and a flask of hot coffee mm -hmm. so we're going to have our lunch yes is it all right it's really Quite nice your... it's still a little bit warm Good. yeah really nice <laughs> we're back for another day out oh. <laughs> yep so this i've been keeping count that this is the third day where we've actually seen blue sky mm. in the two and a half months that we've been here two and a half months yeah so today is only the third day it was raining this morning it's still freezing cold as you can see but we're back out and um we've come back to sea and beach <coughs> which is the grey beach that we showed you before when it was all murky and the the people were up doing the um, what's that the big paragliding paragliding yes yeah, thank you I think. yep but we're at the opposite end of sea and today and uh, this is called Noses Point hmm. just like the nose on your face Noses Point not sure why but um, we're trying to shelter from the wind and uh, yeah it's quite an open view so I'll show you that in the distance over there is where we were weeks ago on that cold wet day and then this is all of the industrial side That's Max morning on in the background. The clouds are fabulous today. And that's the entrance to the harbour. It has a tiny little harbour, still with a working port. And we've just watched um, a ship leaving. We've got some guys doing fishing from the cliff top. There's old Moany Pants. He's just miserable because we're standing still, sitting still for a few minutes and not walking. Then we turn around. As you can see, the clouds are fabulous. And big beach and green hillsides. I hope you can hear me because the wind is quite brisk but we're going to keep walking. There are some amazing beaches here in the northeast even though we've had quite a industrial heritage, coal mining, they uh, cleaned the beaches up from the early 90s through to about 2015 there's a lot of work done and it really paid off we have some quite stunning beaches and when we get the weather it's quite beautiful too mm -hmm. um, today we just came out to break the day up really it's the long bank holiday weekend so um, we were I don't actually know where we were go going. We were going to Marks and Spencers. Oh yes, we were. Um, Elaine got, <clears throat> we do the, the lottery. The postcode lottery. And it's the postcode lottery, which is, we just pay a certain amount a month and our postcode, our address, like our home address, gets put into a drawer and then yep. we might eventually win some money. 
an Elaine one, a five pound. Um, Marks and Spencer's voucher. Gift voucher. Yeah, yeah. Um, gift voucher for a shop. So she said to me this morning, let's go to the shop and I can spend my voucher. <laughs> yeah. So that was our day out. <laughs> so that was our premise for our That's day out. That's it. To That's get us the day out. The house. Yeah. And on the way to our day out. I spotted a sign that I hadn't yeah, seen this... before mm. because we've come into Durham, uh, which we don't usually do. Mm. And just the sign on the road, one of those um, that tells you that this is, there's a park or a picnic area or, and it's Wharton Park. Yeah. So we've had a little wander around. We've never been here before. I never even knew it was here. Um, and it's a lovely little place. So we've come and um, we brought a sandwich and we've mm -hmm. got a flask of coffee, mm -hmm. which seems to be our staple now for our days out. Yeah, we tend to pop out <clears throat> for a sandwich. Yeah. Just for and a different view rather than eating a sandwich in front of the television. We can yeah. Eat Eat or the looking sandwich. Out the window. Yeah, yeah, we can eat the sandwich when we're out and about. Yeah. Yeah, and it gets Max out as well. Yeah. He's, <laughs> He's fine. He's uh, yeah. having a bit of a rest. Yeah. We've had a wander around this park, and I've taken a, a bit of footage. Mm. Um, as I say, we didn't even know it was here, and it's it's really lovely. One yeah, of those little, nice little undiscovered park. gems for us. Yeah. Yeah. But it's quite busy, so a lot of people do know about it. Yeah, with it being. A weekend and the Easter weekend. Yep, every, families are all out. Yeah, 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 everybody's out and about. Yep. But as far as updates concerned and the fact that we have not really said anything to you guys uh, recently, is, there say. isn't really anything to say. <laughs> Honestly, we've been <clears throat> the last, as far as the car's concerned, the car, our Portuguese car is still in the menders. Still in the garage. How many people have we tried to get this car mended? Three now. He's the third man, isn't he? Yeah. Or the fourth, I can't remember. So we're about, yeah, and he's struggling to diagnose what the problem is. So we are But still, he's actually doing something. Well, at least he's doing something. So the yeah. first two people, mm. very disappointed. Yeah. Um, first guy that came to the house was sort of, oh, I think it's this. I'll go away and I'll see if I can source the part. Mm -hmm. And then he hurt his back and he didn't keep us informed and he never did anything and he just mm. disappeared, just disappeared into the ether yeah. so then we got a local garage involved mm. and then they said oh yes we'll have a look at that for you and then it sat outside their workshop for three weeks yeah um without even being looked at it yeah. never didn't even look at it yeah mm. so then we and each time we're having to have it um Ticked up, picked on, a, up yeah, on, on a on a trailer, trailer yeah. t which is costing a fortune. Mm. So <laughs> the, the the last guy, oh that, the one that it's with now, um, at least is he's taking looking, his yeah. own sweet time. But mm. it, he he is mm. actually looking at it, and he thinks mm. he may have diagnosed it, but he can't. It nothing's making sense to him. Yeah, and personally, doesn't... I just I don't know. I'm sick of him, and I wish. Um, it was back in Portugal. I feel as though I have more confidence with mm. the old fashioned mechanics in Portugal yeah. than the let's do a diagnostic yeah. with yeah. kids here because they're just not doing anything. Mm. They're not taking on old cars. They're not taking on, I don't know what it is really. <clears throat> yeah. uh, they seem to be saying things that don't really make a lot of sense in the scheme of things, yeah. you know, so I don't know. Just it just, I mean, the only information that we've been got, we, we, we've we've got from the car so far is that it nearly started. <laughs> That's the best that we've got so far. We did have it diagnosed as it was the fuel pump, but then it's been misdiagnosed apparently, and it's now mm, not, yeah. possibly not the fuel pump, but he's stumped. The gentleman is stumped. So we don't know what it is. So we're waiting again. Um, yeah. The hope was, anyway, the whole point of this conversation was, the hope was that we were going to put a video up on Thursday to let you guys know what had happened. But we were waiting on Thursday for him to get back to us and tell yeah. us. Which he never which does. Which he never does, never gets yeah. back to us. Nobody ever keeps you informed of anything. Yeah. So I was hoping we can say, right, we've got the car. It's working. We now at least, we at now least have a plan. But we didn't, so we couldn't tell you anything, so it wasn't a plan. But we thought we're still going to get on and tell you some stuff because yeah. we haven't told you anything. So really, we haven't moved any further forward at all since the last time, apart from the fact that I possibly will have a job. Um, but that's going to take um, anything between two and six weeks. 
apparently to get all of my paperwork sorted yeah. so that's um gonna take slow. a while a slow as well but yeah. hopefully yeah so hopefully i've got a job you almost very nearly oh, got it oh i was so close so close yes. to getting it for a i was really wanting to have this job so yeah. i applied for two jobs because as i've explained before my problem is i have no references mm -hmm. no current and valid references yeah. i've worked all my life but the last sort of well i've been out of the work market for almost five years now and then for 13 or more years before that i was self-employed mm. um and yeah nobody keeps records going any further back into my mm. sort of uh mm. employed status yeah. so as soon as they see that I don't have any references, yeah. then I just disappear off. Yeah, However, I did yeah. apply for two of them. One, I've had interviews for both of the jobs. Mm -hmm. um, the first one was in a lovely coffee shop. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I was very interested in it. And it said it was 25 hours a week. And it was just working in this coffee shop and then when I got there it was actually 50 hours in one week and then one week off and 50 hours in another week and mm -hmm. one week off <laughs> and I was like why it's and advertised it was so as that, 25 hours yeah, a week so that chef can get every other weekend off and you get every other weekend off mm. I was like gosh it's got to be a better way of organizing a rota <laughs> so they um <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I told them that mm. on the feedback yeah and they did invite me they invited me to do a free shift for them yeah not paid yeah to see Weird. how I worked and how I would get on with the team lovely so I politely declined mm. and gave them some feedback with regard to their rota <sighs> and the way that they'd advertised it and then the second job which was the one that I really really set my heart on was an actual temporary job it was for three months covering somebody on sick leave in a charity shop that works with our local recycling center mm -hmm. and um, there were like in excess of a hundred people applied for the job four of us got interviewed mm -hmm. and I got pipped at the post by two points the lady two said points. two points I was like yeah kicking myself Oh, thinking John. could I have said something extra could I have yeah, done an any extra more two points um, yeah yeah I'd love to have worked there yeah and it was temporary role which would have been perfect and all of that wouldn't it yeah mm -hmm. but talking about points the interview points. that I went for oh yes yeah. Darren did even better yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> well there was three of it there were three people interviewing on me panel. on the panel three people interviewing me yeah mm -hmm. and one of the people was a person that we or the company support so it was um, a person there was yeah is that the way to put it the person yeah. that's mm -hmm. that's being supported by the company but one he's of the clients, yeah, yeah one of the clients that's right and he's <clears throat> but he's been invited to interview and uh yeah i got some feedback from him which was really nice i got a seven <laughs> out of ten so yeah darren's really nice i'll give him a seven out of ten was yeah. what he said wasn't it so honestly I was chuffed a bit, 7 out of 10, you can't honestly can't complain, you can't beat that. No. And then but, when the lady called you back um, to yeah, give you like the feedback, the feedback and to, to yeah. say that you'd been successful, yeah. she said, oh, she, you had some lovely feedback, <laughs> wonderful feedback from Derek. Uh, from Derek, that's it, yeah, 7 out of 10, so I was chuffed oh. a bit with that. Yeah. That was really nice. So, so we're still really not much further forward, we are just getting on with day to day really aren't yep, we definitely yeah but um the roof we've had some rain oh yeah that's a good and point. our son yeah. reports that he has had no more leaks so it looks as though the roof situation yeah. is fixed yeah it does um i mean that is, took about four different attempts it, didn't well it? the third third time lucky we were oh was it third yeah it, right um so that seems so that to be was fixed really good yeah and um yeah just yeah that roof's the roof's done yeah hopefully anyway yeah so we think yeah so we are moving forward it's just been a very slow move forward really hasn't it and yeah and everything. i think the car for me just feels like the car just kept pulling us back just dragging us back into yeah because we need to get the car back into portugal as soon as possible yeah. um now that may it's a long story we're not going to go into it today but it needs to be it can only spend three months out 
sorry i can't explain it yeah, yeah it can't. our insurance covers us for 90 days outside, outside of, of, europe. of europe yeah um, so that car is now getting very close to being out of portugal for the 90 day situation yeah. so we are now going to have to talk with the insurance company once the car's fixed we're going to have to talk with the insurance company and say look it was totally out of our control yeah what can we do to rectify the insurance so that at least we can bring the car back into the country Yes. Otherwise, we just have to leave the car here mm. and scrap it, which is which, which is crazy. crazy. Yeah, which is just yeah. crazy to even consider that. But that's why the car situation has been such a big situation for us, really, because yeah. because it cost us a lot of money in Portugal. Because that's what cars do; they cost a lot of money in Portugal. And um, yeah, and it's now getting to the point where it's becoming <coughs> bless you. Excuse me. It's becoming <clears throat> to the point where. Um, is going to be very soon an illegal car to drive in yeah. this country. <laughs> Not that you can drive it. Not that you can drive it. Yeah. We got here. <laughs> so as soon as the car, as soon as we have word on the car, then we can get it fixed. Sorry, once we have word that the car is fixed, we can then speak to the insurance company and say, right, we need to work out some sort of extension to our insurance in Europe, in, outside of Europe. Or at least for the journey to get it back. Or at least to get yeah. it back. Yeah. 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 So that'd be a conversation that we're looking forward to getting. Or to having, but anyway, that's yeah. So that's quite a long story, but I probably cut it <laughs> quite that's well. Actually, where yeah, we are. basically where we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah so there we are. So yeah. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, not really anything else to report. Not really. No. No. Um, Max okay. is loving having <laughs> a choice of beds. Choice of yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> a choice um, of beds. A choice of people to, <laughs> to give him a love. Him. Yeah. Yes, he's been spoilt <laughs> by all our family. Yeah. So um yeah, he yeah he's just He's still moaning. He's been a moaner. He's, he's, he's having a rest now he's had his lunch, but he's been <laughs> he's just he just <clears throat> anyway, sorry. Right. <laughs> yep. So um yep, a couple of clips that we've got to mm -hmm. show you. And um Yeah. I'll put in the one that I just took before. From we... this park. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah okay so that's always a nice where well, it doesn't matter where we are it's one of the things that we like isn't it where you find like a little yeah little space undiscovered to us gem and um yeah yeah we've we've enjoyed it we've had our lunch mm -hmm. so... that's probably why i'm feeling a bit sleepy now so we've had a big lunch <laughs> and the sun's actually out and it's getting yeah, warm in the it's car getting warm. yeah because yeah. Uh, it's like a greenhouse mm -hmm. so. that'd be why yeah okay so i hope everybody's doing well yeah and um, thank you for your continued support. Mm -hmm. And we will let you know. Yeah, we'll when try we and know see anything else. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we'll do our best to keep you updated. It, well, we will keep you updated if anything happens. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing, isn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. Take care. Take care, everyone. See you on the next one. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye.